scientifically engaged theology struggle to include a cohesive eschatology in light of empirical projections of mass extinction and the potential death of the cosmos. On the one hand, Dennis Edwards argues for a non-interventionist account of resurrection that coheres with evolutionary origins. On the other hand, animal theologies tend to neglect eschatology or engage in speculation. My article, entitled Eschatological Communion, Human and Non-Human Animals in Light of Evolution, argues that eschatology requires a scientifically coherent account of creation. Therefore, it proposes that eschatology for both human and non-human participants must be communally grounded along evolutionary lines. Using Buber's intersubjectivity and evolutionary accounts in theology, it concludes that since eschatological life is relationally constituted within an evolutionary community, then in order to maintain continuity of identity, eschatological relationships are contingent upon the evolutionary relationships established pre-eschaton.